Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing in the Midwest. I'm your host, John B. You may notice the video quality is a little cruddy. It's partially due to the fact that I uh, broke my, I believe this is my fourth camera now. Let's get to the point of today's video, that being the unboxing. We're going to be doing a Mystery Tackle Box unboxing. For those of you guys who don't know, I do work for Mystery Tackle Box, so you may say, oh, this is totally such an, a, a bias in boxing and you know you're just going to talk a bunch of good stuff about Mystery Tackle Box. The fact of it is, is I do actually like Mystery Tackle Box. I know that's probably taken with a grain of salt being that I do work for them, but I generally... No, this is not Andrew Flair. That was funny. Okay, anyways, so let's get into today's boxing. This is the, uh, no, this is the uh, November, December box. This is the December box. And this is the Pro Box. This is the professional box. So let's get right into it. Okay, I think we're uh, right into the box now. First lure we got right here is the, uh, well, we've got the bait card. This is the Flash Minnow by Lucky Craft. MTV is starting to put Lucky Craft lures in their boxes, which is pretty sick because Lucky Craft is a pretty high standard bait. And they're actually putting these in some of the regular bass boxes as well. This is in the NC Shell White. Look at that, dude. This might be a pretty cool bait. I've never fished this. I only fish usually the 110 pointers, the deep diver, or the regulars. So, kind of interested to try this out and see how it works. The next hard bait that we've got right here is the Excite Baits XB1. This retails $7.99 in your local stores. This is a silent crankbait, and this is, I believe, in a bluegill color. Pretty obvious. Very awesome color. I generally use bluegill shad patterns, crappie patterns, because here in the Midwest we don't have uh, you know anything crazy like that. The main forge here is bluegill, so this is, this is a perfect little color, and uh, I've used these baits before. They're money for the most part. Okay, the next bait that we have right here is the Z-Man Custom Chatterbait. I actually just picked this up the other day and uh, really like the action, so we got one in the MTV box. So this right here is like their kind of higher grade chatterbait. It's not like the Project Z, which is like their top of the end line, but it's got a few different features on here where you don't have that snap swivel that's connected to your blade anymore. It's like stuck on there, so there's no way that this thing's going to bend out and you're going to lose that, that 8 or 25 pounder you've got hooked up to. I would call this color, uh, a sh I would call this a sexy shad. It's got a hint a very small hint of, of chartreuse and uh, a little bit of that light baby blue. I'd call this sexy shad. Oh, it's called citrus shad. So I was close. Sexy citrus sounds the same. Whatever. So the next bait we've got in our box here is the Baby Pack of Craw by Netbait. This is by far one of my favorite craws to throw right next to like the Chigger Craw and a few others. And this is a full pack of pocket craws. That's in a perfect color too. I mean, this is a real winner, in my opinion. Um, this is a bait that's just going to get so much use. I'm going to go through this pack in, in a minute. But to go with this, they sent you a Black Angel Lures flipping jig. Never used these, heard a lot about them, but uh, they've been on Tackle Rouse for quite some time. I just never really, just really never mustered up the. This is a pretty cool little flipping jig. It's got like these extended skirt silicone strands right here, which kind of look cool. And I don't know if it helps you catch fish, but it definitely looks cool, and I can see it working in some pressured lakes. You don't have to have a matching craw trailer to go on your matching jig. I generally will throw watermelon red craws on my black and blue jigs or vice versa. This presentation actually works super well because the thing is everyone thinks you have to match the exact color. You know, people lose their mind if the bait's not matching. And that actually looks pretty dope. You, you can't deny that it looks pretty cool. You know, if you put it in perspective, it's almost like a chartreuse and black back color on your crankbait. Two completely opposite colors but flat out catch fish. The last bait that we've got right here is the Mega Strike Ultimate Finesse Shaky Head. This is, I don't think I've ever used these before. This is basically like a shaky head uh, design. I'm not really sure how these specifically work. I've used their jigs before. It's got a really good uh, stand up action so that when you're fishing hard bottom or even a little bit of soft bottom, that jig head's gonna stand up just like that. See, look at that, that's pretty cool. Up next, we've got a little bit of confetti. Uh, this makes great fire starting material if, if you have a fireplace and uh, if you're wanting to get into the Christmas season, throw a little bit of this in your fireplace. Don't tell your mom or dad. This is the MTB sticker. Uh, like I said, you can throw this on your, on your mom's car uh, or your dad's truck or something like that. It'll look really nice and then now you're rolling in the MTB mobile. Okay, so we've got some awesome baits here. Uh, super stoked. This is, I don't know if that's my favorite MTB Pro. Um, but it's one of my favorite ones. 
it's definitely up there because you get a jig. Who doesn't like to fish a jig? You got some craws, and they're really, really good craws. Like pocket craws are up there, in my opinion, as top five best craws ever made. So uh, yeah, this is this video is titled Two Unboxings. You're probably wondering what's the other unboxing? What's this one right here? The no look, <laughs> the no look um, tackle warehouse unboxing. Now I may forewarn you that this is not the most exciting, exhilarating tackle warehouse unboxing you'll ever see, but it's up there. Since I used the saw. Um, on the first unboxing, I think it's time to, to switch it up and use a different tool for this one. The only thing I could really find in my room that would work for this, um, I see some stuff I really want to get up, is a coat hanger. So we're going to open this next box up with a coat hanger. It's actually a really great tool for unboxings. A lot of the big name unboxers out there on YouTube will use coat hangers because they're so versatile. Um, okay, we're just going to rip right into it. Oh, look at that. Boom. Boom. For those of you guys who know, I usually 100% of the time am fishing Seeger or Sunline. Recently, I've not been a huge fan of Sunline, so I've switched back to Seeger, and I'm now throwing Seeger line. Right here, we've got the uh, Seeger and Vizex 8-pound test. This is going to be my finesse line, drop shot fishing, shaky head fishing. It's a little heavy for drop shot, but uh, shaky head fishing right up there, wacky worm fishing. Great for those applications, and you get 200 yards of this, so that's pretty sick. Next one we have is a 12-pound test. This is what I'm using for my crankbaits my jerk baits, my crank baits, anything that's reaction oriented, I'm generally using this, other than spinner baits and chatter baits. Uh, the next highest one we have is the Seaguar Brazix. I've never actually used the Brazix. I've been fishing Seaguar for about four years now, but for some reason, I've never gotten the Brazix. I think the whole idea behind this is that it's super abrasion resistant. It's two times more abrasion resistance. So I guess this is only one times abrasion resistant, and then you got two times, and the abrasion resistance, and the abrasion resistance, and the brazen resistance will hopefully help me uh, get it in and out of some of those nasty areas with ease. Some of you guys are probably thinking, okay, dude, chill. 20 pound test, what are you fishing for? You know, sharks in the Gulf of Mexico? No, I can think of maybe one or two instances in the, in, the, in the five years that I've been bass fishing where I've broken off on a fish using 20 pound test. Not necessarily just Seaguar 20 pound test, but like pretty much any 20 pound test. Um, and the reason why I don't throw it all the time, you're probably thinking, why didn't you just throw it on your crankbait and stuff like that, is because it's got a massive diameter and it's not easy to work with. So this is generally my flipping, pitching, craw, and um, soft plastic line. So you guys are probably losing it right now. You're probably thinking 25 pound test. That's crazy. This is going to be my swim bait line. It may be a little overkill, but uh, like I said, I don't know much about this game. But I heard some guys use 25 pound test. Like to just be safe rather than sorry and uh, keep it heavy duty and go with that 25 pound Seeger. Thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you guys sincerely enjoyed and I also hope you guys have a very great, fantastic, safe holiday weekend. And uh, I do suggest and maybe advise that you get out on the water and do some fishing in your spare time because this El Nino weather is super good right now. Up here in the north, we have open water everywhere. You know, there's not even ice on the edge. It's fantastic weather and the fish are eating. If you guys have any questions or comments about any of the products that I talked about in today's video, always always feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fishing the Midwest.